Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing cash envelope stuffing for my cash envelope wallet for the second paycheck of August, 2022. Now this is gonna be a bi-weekly cash envelope stuffing. And if you do weekly cash envelope stuffings, then this method would also work for you. So if that is what you have to do also, pull out your cash, your wallet, your budget planner, and come on, cash stuff with me. All right guys, so let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and see exactly what we are cash stuffing today. So the amount we are going to be doing is $255. We're not going to be doing a whole lot this time, but like I always tell you guys, any little bit that you have is always an accomplishment and is always good. So even if you have $50 to cash stuff for all of your envelopes, don't get discouraged. You figure out how you're going to disperse those funds to each envelope that you have. All right, so we got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 210, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. All right, so we got $255, like we said. And I only have one 10. I didn't realize I just got one 10. That's crazy. All right, so we don't have any ones. So that is, let me scoop this up so we can actually see it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our wallet and let's get started here. All right, so first we have Boba, which is my bubble team. We don't have anything in there. I think I'm gonna pretty much skip it this time because I got, I think I got enough Boba team. I've been doing too much, getting too much. All right, so next we have Crisp. And Chris is basically um, a salad place that we have here. I just use it to reward myself. So it is not a necessity. And like I said, all of your envelopes, you don't have to stuff them every time. So if it's something that you need for this two weeks or this week, then stuff it. But if it's something that you don't really need, then just basically skip over it. So we're actually gonna do $5. I'm so used to my fives being here because I don't have any ones. I'm gonna do Chris. So that would give us five dollars and then y'all aiden is in the background as usual he's playing his tablet and aiden is going to get 15 dollars, but aiden does have 20 dollars in his envelope and what i do with my son's envelope and i know this seems like it's like why don't you just keep the money in there my pen is like getting away from me um basically what i do is I take anything that he has left for the week, I put it in his savings sinking funds, and then I add more cash because it's just cash basically that if he goes to like Target, he does good at daycare, and he wants to get a toy, then I just pretty much say, hey buddy, you can get it. So let's go ahead and add this $15 to his envelope. So um, I found that is very beneficial for him to have his own little binder because I did have it all together with mine's, but yeah, so I like it better. With his separate so we're going to go to his savings and every time i have 500 dollars in here i'll always make sure i go and take it to the bank because like i said nobody wants to have all of that money in their household and that's why a lot of the times you see budgeters use the money placeholders i know some people are like isn't that money fake it's fake but like i said you don't want to have like three four thousand dollars sitting at your house one thousand two thousand three thousand this is what's in the bank so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. All right, so we have 3,275. Now, a while back, I ended up putting a $5 bill because I didn't have ones in my $1 jar and this is exactly what I'm gonna exchange it for. I gotta make sure I find it. I could have sworn I saw it last time. Oh yeah, there it goes. So I can replace this, one, two, three, four, five, with this $5 bill here. I've been wanting to do that for the longest time, but I just was trying to figure out how was I gonna do that to make it easy. And this is just extra ones that I have when I do my cash stuffing. I just basically put those in there. So we're gonna put Aiden's cash back in here. And then we did 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so I did end up going and hold on. Am I in the wrong envelope? 
yeah, I'm in the wrong envelope. Not clothes, we got shoes. So I went ahead and, so 20, 40, 50. So I need to take 50 out of here. Is it 50? 60, I need to take 60. All right, so I need to take $60 out of his shoes um, envelope because I did get him two pair of Vans at Rack Room. You know how they always have the buy one, get one free because little buddy needed some shoes and yeah. His little fronts of his shoes were starting to get holes in it. And I mean, they're going to be like, girl, if you don't get your son some shoes. All right. So this is 20, 40, 50, 60. So 60 dollars will go back into um, the checking account because um, I did just use that because I didn't have the his envelope with me. All right. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then when we get to the end, I'll put it in the um, extra cash back to the bank um, envelope. All right, so Aiden, we are finally done with his, and I'm just gonna move this back here. All right, so next we have Beauty. So Beauty, we already have 10, 15, 16, 17. So I'm actually gonna take these $2, and I'm going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my bank now. Put it in my $1 bank. And then 17, so we're gonna add $20, so we're just gonna do a $20 bill. So we have 20, 30, $35. And I don't have to get my nails done no time soon or anything like that. So that is um, good. How much did I say? I think it's 35, right? 20, 30, yeah, 35. Just want to make sure I have that correct. All right, so next we have budget. Budget, we don't have anything in there. Budget is just if I go to like Hobby Lobby, I wanted to get like some cute little budgeting stickers, um, planning stuff, or if I see like um, a set of pens, a pack of pens, or something like that. So that's all budgeting is. So we're just going to do one $5 bill. Um, so that will give us $5. So next we have Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, we are going to do $5. So we're going to do a $5 bill. And you guys all know what Dollar Tree is. I don't have to explain that to you, right? Well, it's not a dollar anymore. It's a dollar twenty-five. So I don't even really go there too much anymore. I mean, I still go, but not a lot. Like. All right, so next we have Eat Out. And Eat Out, we're gonna add $25. And Aiden is, um, he's saying he the first guy that landed the plane. <laughs> wow, right? All right, so we got $20 bill, we're gonna do a five. Yeah, 20, 25. Yeah, he's on his little tablet. He loves that little thing. But like I said, it's learning for him. I'm trying to figure out if I should put this in front of these cards. I'll put it in the front or the back of the cards. Okay, so next we have um, gas. So gas, we have $20 left. And you know, for gas, we always keep that and we just roll it over. So I'm gonna do $40 this time. Usually I do more and gas did come down a little bit, but not enough for me <laughs> to be like, I don't need to put that much in there. But um, 20, 40, 60 is what we have. But I'm gonna do, um, Probably a couple more cash stuff because you know if I have like extra cash, I always add it to my um, gas envelope. So this is all folded. So I always end up doing that. So that's why I wasn't really too worried about putting a lot in it this time. I don't have a lot that I'm stuffing. So because my budget was kind of like a little bit tighter this time. And so I had to kind of like just sit down and really figure out exactly what I really need to have extra cash for. All right, so next we have groceries. So groceries, we only have $1. And as you guys know, we put this in our bank. So that will go in there. All right, so groceries, we're gonna do $90. This time for groceries, we don't need too much. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I came up with my groceries. All right, so this is how I work it out. I just go downstairs to the kitchen and I just do like all the things I need for dairy, all the things I need for breakfast. And I just kind of like categorize them and kind of figure it out. Sometimes I have to wipe this out to figure out like, hey, this is what we need. So then I just kind of add all of the items that I need. And then I have budgeted for 90. So this here is let's add this up so this is 567 1305 319 and then i just do this to add all of the columns so 1893 
So we're looking at 66, 69 for how much we're gonna actually use for groceries, but I like to have a little bit cushion. I started doing that um, just so that I can pretty much, you know, if we need to go grab some more milk, we have like a little bit of cushion to go get some because milk is getting expensive and everything's expensive. So, but yeah, so that's why I actually do the meal plan budget worksheet. At first I was like, ah, but it has helped me with, you know, groceries and everything like that. All right, so groceries, we're gonna do $90. So we're gonna do a 50 and two 20s. All right, so you got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 for groceries. All right, so that, so that'll give us $90. All right, so next we have household. Household, we are still like rocking it with the toilet paper and rocking it with the paper towels. Cause like I said, I went to Sam's to get like the big um, bundle of it, like bulk and that was pretty smart. So we're only gonna do $20 in household cause I got all kind of cleaning stuff. So that is still good too. So next we're gonna do personal. Personal, I don't have anything in there. So personal, we're gonna do $25. So we're gonna do a 20 and a five. And I am like seriously competing with Aiden here. Y'all can hear him in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh, 20, 25. I don't even know what he's saying. I don't, I don't even know. All right, so next we have giving. So giving, we have 10, 20, 25, and we're gonna add $5 to that. So 10, 20, 25, 30. All right, so that'll make it 30, all right? Yep, $30, okay. So now we have extra cash in the back, and then we have bank run. That's where I'm gonna put this $60, 20, 40, 50, 60. I'm gonna put this back in there so I can deposit this back into my checking account for his shoes that I got for school. All right, guys, so this is all that is with our cash envelope stuffing. So um, thank you guys so much for chilling with me. If you made it through the end of this video, thank you. Make sure you comment, like, like, subscribe, share. And then also guys, if you're not all of, always, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. All right, guys, so if you have not already Follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. It's called A Pink Loft Life, so make sure that you follow me there. And then, like I always say, until next time, guys. Peace.